Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Hey guys, we got another Reddit reaction. Let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into it. To my pick me ass best friend who ruined my marriage. I'm sure you're wondering why all of a sudden I exited every group chat you were a part of, why you can no longer find me on social media, why even with your birthday coming up, Christmas past, New Year's past, Valentine's Day past, you haven't heard a effing word from me. My husband is in love with you. You and him have ruined my life. I've loved you since we were toddlers, toddlers. I barely remember life without you. We're 30 years old and your insecure has put your own confidence boosts above our friendship. You're one of the most beautiful girls I know. We tell you that every effing time we see you. The girls and I tell you how gorgeous you are and how it's insane that you won't date slash too scared to date. Regardless of how I side eyed you wearing certain shit around my husband when we're supposed to be having casual get togethers, I still tell you that you look amazing. And even though it irks me at how you want to play drunk, BM the lightweight and it took 20 watered ass down shots for me to get buzzed but all of a sudden you're wasted after 5 shots? Be please, and start to remove clothes in front of him, I still tuck you in and try to take care of you. My husband admitted he gets your vibe and he can't get you out of his head. That he thinks that for the last 2 years, he is- Hold on sir, the husband is a savage. <laughs> he really- <laughs> the, the husband is a cold hearted city boy savage, a city boy assassin. To really come out and say straight up to his wife in his face, listen, man, I'm really liking your friend's vibe for real. And I really I feel like I made the wrong decision. I can't even get her out of my mind for real. I'm just letting you know right now, babe. Um, if your friend pop up in the joint and she start wearing some revealing clothing, I might have to penetrate that joint, son. That is city boy heart spirit, bro. He he didn't need to get married. That guy's a cold-hearted menace, bro. And I feel like your friend found that out she knew she knew she felt it in him she felt it in him and she wanted to conquer his peen as the street warrior that she is she wants to collide with the city boys you feel me that's crazy man but let's keep going though thinks that for the last two years he has been falling for you you the last time you were here for a friend's giving you and him locked eyes for a second when we were eating and you took it upon yourself to start sucking some chips like if you were blowing a d as you sat across from him we all were like okay now be damn why are you eating it like that and you just acted like what? As the night progressed everyone kept drinking but me because I wanted to stay as aware as possible. I watched how he stared at you dance and how uncomfortable he got when you told your shit blind date story. You took it upon yourself to start talking about your breasts in front of him. You shook your ass in his direction as he walked by you to a song that wasn't even an ass shaking song. Those next few days here were awful. I interrogated him and asked him what the f is going on with y'all because that shit wasn't okay. You've done lots of pick me ass shit here, like wearing a maxi skirt but somehow that shit would raise itself damn near to where we could all see your underwear and you're not pulling it down but complaining you're cold, like undressing halfway through my house while asking me for comfy clothes and when I was like girl what are you doing? You play dumb, but you've never been so effing disrespectful like that night. He would swear on God and on his mom, his life, our kids. That he only wanted me and that he only loved me, that you weren't shit to him and that you were nothing but the stupid one in my friend group that he couldn't care less about you. Liar. I was irritated with you and didn't reply to anything you would send because I wanted you to ask me what was wrong. I wanted you to be oblivious to what you had done and be like, hello? Where are you friend? But no. So tell me why working through issues this effort and I decide we need to lay everything out on the table, I ask about you, because even though we haven't talked in months, that shit wasn't sitting right in my spirit, call me a witch or something but I effing knew what I knew. I asked him if there was something going on with y'all and he goes, Oh that's the end of the video right there. Yeah uh, <laughs> It be like that sometimes, man. That's why when you have a friend group, you have to assert your dominance. You have to make sure that you are the most attractive in the group. That was your problem, right? You ended up being the side character. Your friend is the main character. You know what I'm saying? It happens like that sometimes, right? Every man will tell you this, right? When they run into a group of girls, there's usually that one girl who's the leader of the group, the leader of the pack, the most attractive girl in the group. And she knows she's the most attractive girl in the group. That's why she's in this group. She's not going to go try to be in a group with Beyonce. Carrie Hilson. She's not going to try to go in that group. She's going to go to the group with the girls who are less attractive. That's why every pretty girl group got that one sloppy, big bone joint that, that has no business being there. So you're trying to wonder, like, why is she there? I'm not sure if this girl writing this Reddit post is like a big, hefty, happy-go-lucky, lucky charms in the knee type joint. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm just saying this, she's not the most attractive one. Or, or, 
this one let herself go. I'm not sure, man. But that girl, you should also know your friend is a Thadalina, a Thadi Tuati. You should never let her around your husband, right? And some people say, Felix, you not holding the husband accountable? Absolutely not. At the end of the day, any wrongdoing that men do, I always support. Unless it's something like with children and, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything with children is like, nah, yeah. I even support robberies from time to time. Only if it's a consensual robbery. I know that doesn't make sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. You're on my channel. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, I mean, it, that's how it is. It is how it is, man. You feel me? City boys are up. And, <laughs> hey, you got to get some better friends. Now, when you start making your new friends group, you got to make sure that you're the most attractive one there. So, your husband, when she sees the group, he's never going to be like, oh, my God, I made the wrong choice. I got the wrong one. You know what I'm saying? Girls also have this too. Girls have also seen guy groups and, and you know, they might go out with their boyfriend and be like, oh, this is your friends? Oh, God. They're all so handsome and, you know, I feel like I got the ugliest one. No girl wants to be in that situation either. You feel me? Like, let's just be real. Because if you were the most attractive one in the group, he wouldn't be cat feeling, her, <laughs> feeling other people's vibes. You feel me? But let me be real with you. Uh, he was going to cheat. He was going to cheat regardless. It just so happened to be your friend, right? Maybe because she made it real, real easy, made it apparent that she wanted to get in, you know, wanted him to get in her guts. But either way, he, he was going to cheat. All right, let's be real. All right, you feel me? Hey, but that's all I got to say on this, man. Uh, if you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button guys man we're going to be trying to be dropping these reddit videos every single day if possible in the late afternoon if you guys care if not just let me know you feel me i'm gonna still keep doing it because i'm just i'm just like that you feel me peace and blessings you ugly mofos and i'm out